This is the Revive Series Solar Restore Panel 360. It is a solar panel that is an active charger. So when you get it outside the box, it comes with the solar panel and a carabiner. Um, what the carabiner would be for is, it is an active charger, so if you're out on a hike, um, maybe attach it to your backpack and you can charge your uh, smaller devices. It won't be able to charge tablets or some larger phones like for example the Galaxy Note 2. Um, this will not provide enough power uh, but smaller smaller smartphones maybe like the Galaxy S3, um, HTC One, some uh, other smaller cell phones, MP3 players, some cameras. Um, it will be able to charge, but it won't charge tablets, larger smartphones, um, and it won't charge any Apple products either. Uh, but it outputs at 360 milliamp an hour, and it's a uh, 5 volt maximum output. So uh, what you do with this is you put it in the direct sunlight, and you'll notice that when you are getting light, uh, blue light will be on. Fluorescent lights in this room are enough to turn it on, but not enough to charge anything at the moment. Um, but if it's out in direct sunlight, we'll get 5 volts output maximum with 360 MA an hour. There's a USB port on the side. There is no USB cable included with the panel, so you do have to provide your own. All you do is you plug your USB cable into the USB port on the panel, and the other end will go into the device to be charged. And depending on how big your battery is in your device to be charged, for example, the Galaxy S3 has a 21 mAh uh, internal battery, the Solar Restore Panel 360 will output at 360 milliamps an hour. So um, say your phone was at a 5% charge, uh, this is outputting at 360, take 2100 divided by 360 and that's the approximate hours it will take you to recharge the, that uh, 2100 mAh battery to full. It also comes with a kickstand on the back, so if you wanted to set it out in the sun, you can do it that way. That way it's angled and it's getting direct sunlight. Or again, you can just uh, use the carabiner to hang it onto a backpack or a purse so that while you're walking around out in the sun hiking and you got your device plugged in, it'll charge. Um, so some possible troubleshooting tips with the Solar Restorer 360 panel. Um, if you're not getting a charge to a plugged in device, make sure that the cable is securely plugged into the USB port on this end and that the other part of the cable is plugged securely into the device that's uh, to be charged. If it's still not working, make sure that that light is on. Um, blue light comes on when it's receiving power from a solar source. It's on right now, uh, but you do need direct sunlight for maximum efficiency. If that's still not working, try a different USB cable. Um, also, you know, try many different devices because as we explained earlier in the video, it won't charge Apple products, um, tablets, and larger um, smartphones, tablets, uh, the really big, like five inch screen, five and a half inch screen uh, smartphones. Um, but smaller devices are okay, those should be good to go. And that is the Solar Restore 360 panel.